Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make this reusable water bottle for a stuffed animal that really works and holds water. This is kind of a continuation from my last video where I made a lunchbox, so now you can have a water bottle to go with it. Now let's get started! Okay, so I'm going to be making this out of a plastic paint bottle. Here's what it looked like before I cleaned it out. It's just a container of craft paint. And you actually don't have to clean it out unless you want to put water in it. But because this is for a video, I took at least an hour to clean mine out. And it was a huge pain because the paint was all dried up inside and would not come out. So it wasn't really necessary. And you can even leave the label on because I ended up having to cover mine in paper. I'm going to start by working on the lid first. So I'm going to cover mine in black cardstock. You could also cover yours in black paper or just paint it, but I wanted a really smooth outside. So I've just marked the height of my lid and have cut a strip of cardstock that wide, and I'm just rolling it up to see how long it needs to be. Now I'm going to glue this on the outside with hot glue since cardstock is pretty thick. If you notice paint on my hands, that's just because I filmed this part of the video while I was working on the lunchbox, so my hands were a mess. Once I got towards the end, to avoid touching the hot glue, I would just roll this on my surface to get it to really stick on there without having to touch it. The seam got kind of messy for me, you could see the glue sticking out, but I later painted this part black so it wasn't as noticeable. Next, I'm going to add a little piece of aluminum foil around the bottom of this to look like stainless steel. I'm not sure if most water bottles have this, but I just thought it needed a little pop of metal. So I just cut a really thin strip and am gluing that around the bottom. I've been needing to get a new glue stick for a while, but this was the moment where I realized it was probably done. I forgot to mention that instead of foil, you could also just paint this part silver. My foil ended up being too short, so I added a little patch on top. Next, I'm going to paint the top of this black, or you could also just cover it with more paper. Since it's plastic, it may take a few coats to really stick on there. While that dries, I'm going to move on to the main part of the water bottle. And all I planned to do was paint the outside purple. You could go with any color you want though. But when I peeled the label off the container, it left some glue residue and I couldn't really remove it. So when I added the paint, there were a bunch of clumps like this. And that is not a good look, so I ended up having to cover this in paper. So after that dried, I just grabbed a scrap of paper that I've already cut to the right height. Now I can just coat the bottle in glue and roll the paper around it. And actually, before you do this, you'll want to put the lid on if it's already covered. And wherever the back seam of that ends is where you want to make this seam end. That way, when you screw the lid on, the bad sides of both will be together. So if you're taking photos like me, you can hide the seams in the back. So my problem was I didn't realize this, so once I screwed the lid on, I had to recover it so both seams would be in the back. But once I did that, it was looking good, and now I have a smooth surface to paint on. So now I'm just going to paint the entire outside of this bottle. I ended up going with this light purple. Also, the color's name on the bottle is Grape Taffy, which is an amazing name. I wouldn't recommend painting over the part where the lid screws on like I am, because as you screw the lid on, it'll kind of peel up the paint. I also painted the bottom since I knew it might not be fully covered in the end. After a few more coats and letting it dry, I have this nice smooth purple bottle, but I'm still going to add one more thing to this, and that's foil for the base. I was going for that Hydro Flask or Yeti water bottle kind of look, and I just looked it up and turns out Hydro Flasks don't have this metal base, but it's okay, I guess I'll be making a Yeti, but you can go for whatever kind of water bottle look you want. So I've cut a strip of foil about twice as wide as I want to show on the bottle, and that's so I can fold the rest around the bottom. So I'm first cutting it to the right length, and now finally use my new glue stick to add glue to that. This was filmed over a few days, so I finally got a new one. Now I can start sticking this around the bottom, leaving about half of it hanging off, and I'm making sure to really smoothly overlap those ends. Now I can start folding that leftover foil around the bottom. If you cut the foil a little wider, you could probably have the whole thing be covered, but I didn't really mind the little hole in the bottom. Here I am trying to smooth out a wrinkle and instead just flattening it into place, but let's just pretend that's not there. Okay, so I need to go back to the lid one more time to add the handle, and I'm just gonna make mine out of cardstock, so I'm cutting a pretty thin strip of that, and now I can just bend it into the shape of the handle. So I'm going to make a total of four folds to have little tabs on the bottom to glue down. But that's just to get a rectangular shape, so you can really do whatever shape you want. 
I'll admit this should be pretty simple to do, but the amount of times I had to refold and trim this piece over and over took a long time, so this will take some trial and error, especially if you're like me and don't measure things. But finally, after getting the handle even on both sides, I can glue this on. This glue stick must be a new formula because it looks like a jelly and usually doesn't, but I'm just happy to have a new one. I'm adding that to the bottom tabs and then can stick that right on the top. You could also attach this kind of to the sides before you cover the whole thing, since some water bottle handles are like that. The way I'm doing it though, you kind of need a lot of glue because it's hard to stick your finger in there to press it down, so I do use the end of a paintbrush. But after that, the water bottle is pretty much done, so I'm adding the lid, and I could already feel the paint scraping off as I screwed this on. But I'm going to do one more thing to this, and that is coating the whole thing in Mod Podge. This will give it a nice shine and protect it when you inevitably drop this and make the loudest sound in the world. I'm just kidding, this won't make a sound. But kids would always drop the real ones at school and make a terrible sound. Adding Mod Podge to the top will also help seal in that handle and make it more sturdy. I actually really liked the look of this matte purple bottle, but I ended up adding Mod Podge anyway and I'm glad I did because it really does help protect it from random marks and stuff. You could always leave it off if you don't have it though, or just water down some school glue. I'm making sure not to paint over the foil so I don't dull its shininess. After letting this dry, the finished water bottle looked like this. Super sleek and smooth, and I feel like it actually looks like a real water bottle. And since it's a plastic bottle, you can actually store water in it. Like I said before, this kind of goes with the lunchbox I made in last week's video. Plus, you can see how to make backpacks and school supplies in my school playlist. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, comment any video suggestions you have, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you next time!